Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm so much better at taking things off. Do. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's, oh, thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, you know, you make do. You, you've got a good head on your shoulders and, you know. <laughs> Danny. Well, no, I'm just saying, you know, you, you're not as desperate and as without options as, as that of what you just said. And, well, no, I mean, that, that's not the point. I mean, of course I had opportunities. I've got talent. I, I, I just, I don't have to be with you. I want to be with you. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's sweet. Yeah. I mean, I did betray my mama. No, you did. You, you did. That's sweet. You finally stood up to her. Yeah, I did. And now you don't understand. Well, yes. You two are such a great package. Us two. Yeah, your, your brothers, and now Dorothy and I can have our two white picket fences. <laughs> is that what you think this is going to be? You think you're going to get a picket fence in the front of the yard and chicken in the pot? Yeah. Cereal in the cupboard? Yeah. Going to fill it up with babies. Yes. No need to be bright like with it. <laughs> you know, you could throw a little honey on. John, I found, I found your leather jacket. It, it just, it doesn't quite fit. Doesn't surprise me. Not much of what I had back then fits anymore <coughs> at all. There was a time when that leather jacket fit me like a glove. I lost it on purpose, you know. Couldn't stand to look at it anymore. Couldn't stand to wear it. Just felt wrong. Represented everything I thought I wanted and found out what I didn't. But I'm glad you found it, Dorothy. I'm glad you found that jacket, and Maggie and Stan, I'm glad you found each other. Guess I'll stay here and be with my wife. I went to the market and got some eggs. I don't want to wear the jacket, Dorothy. You see, I've never seen a side like this to John before. This is what? Is he out of sorts? <laughs> is my out of sorts? I can hear you talking. I'm right here in the room. I just, 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 well, just are you out of sorts? What's going on? This is this is what our papa was like, and I, I got a sneaking suspicion this is what marital bliss is. So I think that, uh, you know, I have to go. I can't see the two of you together. Dorothy, I, I can't look at that jacket anymore. <laughs> I, I hope it's gone when I come back. Uh, I wish you I wish <coughs> you luck, Stan and Maggie. <coughs> I hope y'all are happy today. You, you are just talking about the jacket, right? I'm always talking about the jacket. Standing up. Stania, I can get you a bottle if you need it. I can wait on you hand and foot. We can still have a happy future, right? Yeah, uh, um, oh, absolutely. You know, Maggie, I remember, I remember how you were. Yeah. And I remember late at night sneaking out and that screen door closed and you were running to my truck and hopping in and just the brightness on the face and the game we hadn't played and, and well you know I remember that girl if I, I guess if I could just see her now I, I just 
I just, I just see some. I just, I just, I just feel. Man, I had to grow up. Yeah, but <coughs> this growing up just comes with this, this practicality and this, this thirst for security and a, a picket fence and, That's right. and babies and. Yes, and babies. Why can't you just be the girl in the truck? I, can't we just be the girl in the truck? Yeah. Can't, can't I just be the boy in the jacket? And you be the girl in the truck? And we just ride up to Perspiration Point and... We could be that. Mama's gone now. I broke my mama's heart. That's what made me the woman I am today. A woman who can stand on her two feet. And now you're saying you want that, you want that child? They couldn't speak up for herself? They only delighted in sneaking up because, because I was somehow forbidden to you? And now that you've tasted that fruit, and you know, the flavor's gone. We have to get started. The flavor's gone. It's just... I don't know. I just imagine something romantic, and I think you imagine... something different. And, you know, maybe it's not too late to kiss your mama. Yeah. That's what you want. Let me go catch my mama. Well, I don't know. And then you want me again. And I'll be three states away. <coughs> I like New Orleans. Stay your in his denial. Maggie, don't go. Maggie. Now look what you've done. Oh, None yeah. of us are going to be happy anymore. Happiness is a choice. <laughs> Thank you guys, that's the show. <laughs> show stuff. What time are we at? 9-12. 9-12. Hey guys, uh, 